This video is going to be a full breakdown of which routes to use and different route combos that beat main coverage 100% of the time. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Let's get into it. I'm going to cover four basic things in this video. We're going to talk about short and elite, which routes are good against main coverage, different route combos that you can use or that I have found to be most effective, and then some useful tips along the way. This has been a trend for the last couple of years. Short in elite has consistently been something of a route tech. Now it is not just as good as route tech, but it gives you the best cut possible on every single route that it has its cuts inside the numbers. Meaning that no matter how deep the route is, you will get the most ideal cut every single time if you have this ability equipped. You can see me right there on the gameplay going through deep corn routes, going through slants, deep in routes, deep out routes. The only route that I have not seen it light up yet on is a zig so keep that in mind but pretty much every single other route is taken care of in order to get short in elite in ultimate team you need short route running to be above 85 if you don't have that then you can't get it simple as that i'm currently using donald parham that has short in elite tyree kill with short in elite and also randy moss with short in elite these guys do an amazing job of getting separation for me and i will show you some clips right here also just so you know that this is something that the pros use I got some footage from John Beast who just finished number one on the PS5 ladders using it and he has had a lot of success with it, let me tell you. We're now going to look at some specific routes that beat man coverage. Generally speaking, the two best routes against man coverage are zigs and slants. They are a very good combination because if your opponent shades to the inside, then the zig is open. If he shades to the outside, then the slant is open. If we were to look at one play that has the best routes to beat man coverage, it would probably be something like Y out. The combination of the corn route, out route, and being able to put the post wide right receiver on a slant or a drag, a zig, any of those man beating routes will make it a hassle for your opponent to deal with. An important thing to point out though is that posts do no longer beat man coverage. So don't just throw them expecting them to break open late. Another very effective tactic against man blitzers is to utilize the running back out of the backfield. There are many routes you can put them on but probably the most effective stock route that you get is the halfback option route. That used to be a very big thing in Madden 21 where people would just put their running back on option routes and he would get open pretty much 100% of the time. as a great cut against man coverage and you will get a lot of yards throwing it to him. The last amazing man beating route that I don't want you to miss out on are these unbumpables you can see right there on screen. They do not get bumped by press man coverage and you get a free release over the top for an easy touchdown. At this point it is just about mixing and matching and making sure that you do not have two wide receivers in the exact same spot. I'll help you a little bit let's get into some good rock combos that I have found to work best. When it comes to beating man coverage, the best play, in my opinion, is Y out. The corner out and the tight end out route both beat man coverage pretty consistently, especially if you have short in the lead on both of those guys. I like to put circle on a slant, and that's it. Pretty much one of the routes is gonna get open against man coverage. Another amazing play is bench. You can just run it like it is with the out routes, or you can put slants or zigs on the guys that are usually on out routes both works just make sure that your opponent doesn't catch on to what you're doing the third play you guys do not want to be missing out on is the slot outs you have two unbumpables on the field that will get open if you have more than 90 deep route running in all pro or more than 86 deep route running in all madden you can combine that with zigs on the inside receiver and the tight end and you will have an amazing play let's now get on to one of the in my opinion most important things to know when throwing against man coverage with the introducing free form passing we have seen that classic passing just is not what it used to be anymore meaning that passes don't get led as well leading to a lot of interceptions here are a few ways that you can combat this i recommend choosing placement and accuracy for your settings but making the maximum throw distance near that means that you will rarely if ever overthrow a pass so even if you use skill based passing you will still have the throw be on the money if you use no max distance you will have greater flexibility of where to put the ball but as we're all kind of getting to grips with this new mechanic i recommend choosing an option that works best and makes it as easy as possible in the beginning if you're feeling good with it you can step up the difficulty and make it a little bit more reform for you guys on pretty much any single deep pass i recommend highballing it it will rarely get overthrown pretty much never in my experience and you can also rack catch it so that means that it won't go through your hands and you'll have a lot more success a lot of the cornerbacks are in trail technique and if you throw it regularly without the high pass they can often make a play on the ball as i have seen many times on first hand account throwing a high pass 
pass leading in away with the freeform passing just makes it a lot easier for you to complete those passes that are open but can sometimes get played if it's not thrown with the right pass lead. And then third of all, I recommend running the ball as much as possible, especially against the loop blitz, which I know we've heard that is getting patched, but for the time being, a lot of people are running it and a lot of people will continue to run it even if the loop isn't as good. Uh, I recommend running 0-1 Trap. It's one of the best runs in the game against this type of defense and you'll have a lot of success with it because it is in the tight formation, the tight of the tight end, that I've been pretty much showing everything that I've shown in this video out of. Beyond that, it's just about getting reps in against man coverage, finding out the ways you can beat it, make sure to send the running back out on routes. That's another useful tip I have for you. Yeah, that's all I have to say. I try to keep it as short as possible to make sure that you're not wasting too much time if you're just looking to get some easy tips for his man coverage. If you enjoyed the work that I did in this video, please subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.